The evidence of battle is clear. This bullet-scarred building is only a short distance from the heart of the capital, Bongi. Some homes in this suburb have been reduced to ashes, forcing people to flee. This truck belonging to the Seleka rebel coalition was stopped, but their renewed uprising hasn't been. In the city centre itself, men gather, some demanding arms to defend themselves. Government troops fan out and urge them to return home. Shops are being closed, another indication of an increasing sense of foreboding. Fear of the rebel advance is growing. Where are we going with all these barbarians who are blocking us here? They've cut our phone networks, they're killing us, raping us and looting us. They're not allowing us to live. They've taken the state hostage. The origins of the rebellion lie in long-running power struggles between different ethnic groups. The rebels accuse President Francois Bozizé of failing to honour the terms of a peace deal reached in January. An accord between the two sides collapsed on Wednesday. Despite having rich mineral resources such as gold, uranium and diamonds, the Central African Republic remains one of the poorest and most unstable nations on earth. More unrest is only likely to increase the hardship of people, many of whom already face a struggle to survive. Richard Forrest, BBC News.